This is News Nation Now. Welcome to News Nation Now. I'm Ji Soo Ki. It is Wednesday, March 10th. Here's your update. The House is expected to pass President Biden's $1.9 trillion relief bill today. This after lawmakers passed a key procedural measure yesterday. Biden says he'll sign the package as soon as it hits his desk. Tax experts say final passage of the bill means the federal government should be able to launch the delivery of $1,400 stimulus checks almost right away. Today is President Biden's 50th day in office. This afternoon, the president will host an event with the CEOs of Johnson & Johnson and Merck about their historic partnership to produce more COVID-19 vaccines. Tackling coronavirus pandemic is one of many things on Biden's agenda for the first 100 days in office. See where he stands on some of his major campaign promises like climate change and immigration on NewsNationNow.com. Jury selection continues today in Minneapolis in the trial of former police officer Derek Chauvin. Chauvin has been charged with second-degree murder and manslaughter after a video showed him pressing his knee into George Floyd's neck. The case drew worldwide attention and extensive media coverage, and finding jurors who are impartial is proving to be a challenge. A quarter of the jury box is now filled after selection began yesterday. The FBI has released new video in hopes of identifying the suspect who planted pipe bombs near the Democratic and Republican Committee headquarters the night before the U.S. Capitol riots. The bombs were left between 7.30 and 8.30 p.m. January 5th. The suspect was wearing a gray hoodie and black and light gray Nike Air Max Speed shoes. The FBI and Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives are offering a $100,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. Buckingham Palace responds to Prince Harry and Meghan's explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey. The statement issued by Buckingham Palace on behalf of the Queen says the whole family was saddened to learn how challenging the last few years have been for the couple. It added that the issues of race are concerning and while some recollections may vary, it will be addressed privately by the family. The statement ends with, quote, Harry, Meghan and Archie will always be much loved family members. And trending this morning, a golden retriever suits up in PPE to help his owner. Take a look at that cute video. Samson is the service dog to a neuroscientist who works at the University of Illinois. He has to wear the PPE in the lab, just like his owner, complete with a lab coat. Samson is the first canine ever to be granted access to the university's chemistry lab. Oh my goodness, he looks so good, too, in the PPE. What a good boy. I'm G. Thanks so much for staying with us, of course, and breaking news coverage all day today here on our app, website, and broadcast tonight. Have a wonderful Wednesday, everybody. Start your morning with News Nation. Top headlines and trending stories delivered straight to your inbox for free. Go to newsnationnow.com newsletter to sign up.